If you're tired of struggling to add your logo or an image to a certain background picture and all that you've always received on the preview was this, then check this video out. The first thing you have to be aware of is that in case you require the image, logo or a photo of your pet to appear at a different part of the background image, the layer type should be image area. But we will get back to layers afterwards. Case number one. Let's suppose that you want to have your customer upload the picture from a file upload area. Create such a custom option type by clicking this button. Then go to layers, choose image area as a layer type. You can make it round or square, hide the path to or show it. By the way, you can form the shape needed by clicking on the bold purple lines and creating a brand new anchor point. Go to the settings, image source, display image from the file upload option and find your uploaded image in the predefined area. And as always, you can colorize your image from the color palette or create a color thumbnail custom option and let your customer pick the color needed. Case number two, you already have a pack of well-prepared images to make the customer choose one of them. Create a custom option of an image thumbnail type, go to the layer settings, enable the second toggle, which actually displays the front view image from the gallery. Let's check. We have two separate layers which function depending on your needs. Choose one or both ways out to customize your product. A bit more about user interaction effects. You can make a pretty fine area visible on the front so that a customer can see where the image will actually be uploaded. You can also change color effects, hover effects and the color of the selection. The areas are clickable, so in case you use several steps for customization, a click on the area will redirect you to the step with the options needed. Now I'm creating a new step and moving the image thumbnail custom option to the step named switch in order to demonstrate the interactivity of the layers. Let's get back to the layer settings to edit the way to the newly created custom option. Then let's click on the general tab and scroll down until step to select. Assign the step required when clicked on the image area inside both layers. Now let's see what we have. The step entitled Switch appears when the logo from the custom option is selected and the step named Customize it is shown once you click on the uploaded image. 